too. If you stop me up. Boom. Alternate microphone is going to, just in if case these. If you stop me up, I never stop. <laughs> <laughs> I've been running hot to. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, look, we're recording. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. That was from before the hey, we're recording part. Hey, this is Eric. This is Robin. And this is Stuart Perspective. Welcome to the show, everybody. Yay! Yay! It's another fun-filled episode we have for you. We're going to fly by the seat of our pants. Yep. Because that's usually how we do things. Yep. Anyway. So it's the most fun. Before we jump into it, let's get into the uh, stuff we've been forgetting to do, the business and the things. Uh uh, you can find always, as always, the show, have first access to the show, and to any bonus. <laughs> you just tried my peach cider. You're freaking out over here. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <right. laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, you can get first access, access to the podcast, and you have access to um, uh, Patreon and exclusive videos and specials and stuff like that that we do, and we put up on Patreon. So go to patreon.com slash Stuart Perspective, and for $5, $5 a month, you can join us there. You get all the extra stuff. We can communicate there and everything like that. You can get a hold of us. And $5 a month is less than a coffee at Starbucks. Literally. It is. It is less than that. It is. It's sad. It's like me and you go yeah. and we get our medium, whatever, 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 and it's like 12, 13 bucks. That's true. For two coffees. That's true. So it's less than one coffee at Starbucks. So yeah. come on, guys. It's like buying us a coffee, all right? <laughs> well, not quite buying us a coffee, but... But, you know, yeah. we, we would appreciate it. We have, two of you. We have one loyal, one loyal patron that signed up almost day one. God bless her. We love you, Atlanta. Thank you. Thank you, Atlanta. Anyway, so join us there. Um, Five dollars a month. Right this minute, yeah, we're still growing. We've only got a few videos and stuff up. So if you if you want to try it out, spend five dollars one time and listen to everything, and then you don't have to do it again, unless you want to. I'm just saying, check it out. Give us a shot and see what happens. You can also go to Podbean and search. Stuart Perspective, if you just want to follow the podcast. But do us a favor, on any of these other platforms you see our stuff, do subscribe, okay? Subscribe, leave a comment, even if you just say comment for the algorithm, CFTA, okay? Just put CFTA on there as a comment. That does help the algorithm, and that way more people can see us, because this, the growth on Podbean right this minute is really slow, uh, we've only had like 16 downloads there. We're over on uh, Patreon. We've had at least 75 people look at the last show and stuff like that. But again, nobody signed up to pot, to, to Patreon except yeah. Aunt Linda. Yeah. yeah. And if you're one of our family members out there. That just happens to finally start listening to the show. You know who you are. We've been talking about you. We Any talked about you. you before the show. Any of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Just, you know, if you if you are listening, please tell uh one of our other family members that they need to start listening yeah and, you know yeah. chain reaction maybe yeah yeah yeah, yeah. just saying yeah. the more people that are out there the more subscribers it is a stupid algorithm thing that you've got to beat and you've got to break through the algorithm and i really can't start attacking any other platforms on the pod with the podcast until i get at least 10 episodes up so this is episode number eight and once i get to 10 i'll start pushing it over to let um, me see what is it itunes google um there's a whole bunch of them. Even Pandora has podcast platforms you can put out there. So um, that'll help. But I got to get to that level. And I'm just trying to get us built up here. So there's that. If you don't want to do anything, you just want to donate to us and listen to us drink. Right now we're drinking. Uh, oh, God. I want to get a sponsorship from these guys. Austin East Ciders. This is the one free one you get. Austin East Ciders. And I'm drinking your special peach cider. Spiced peach, peach cider. I love it. It's awesome. Robin, not so much. Sorry. <laughs> so... If you want to, like, uh, just donate and buy us a beer and instead of buy us a coffee, man, that yeah. would be a, this was an app idea right there. A registered by Stuart Perspective. Buy yeah. us a beer. You know, beer <laughs> costs less than coffee. It actually does. It's sad but true. <laughs> it's sad but true. <laughs> buy us a beer. You can just drop, like, a fiver or a ten over at um, paypal.me slash raw communications. That's directly to the main company for us. And, uh, yeah, well, just leave us a little note there that you want to buy us a beer and We'll do a shout out to you for it, all right? Yeah. Uh, also, you can go to um, Reaper Apparel Co. Uh, they are, um, we're a brand ambassador for them. 
And uh, if you go there and you use the promo code Uncle Mongrel, you'll get 10% off your purchase. For us big boys like me, if you don't know it and you haven't noticed it, Walmart has stopped carrying 4X shirts. Okay? Walmart has stopped mm. carrying 4X shirts. We used to go there and buy T-shirts. Yeah. And now you can't get one in a 4X. You can get yeah. one in a 3X. You can get one in a 3X, but that's yeah. tight. And I can wear it, but man, I'm a big boy. I like the big boy shirt, 4X. But uh, a Reaper Apparel, they have 4X shirts. They're comfortable. They have a lot of great designs. Go there. Use Uncle Mongrel promo code, 10% off. And that address is, what is it, uh, reaperapparelco.com. And holy cow, that's all the commercial that we haven't been doing for the last few episodes till the very end. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Oh, you can hit us up on Facebook. Find us on groups and stuff from Stuart Perspective and join us there. we got a couple people there that are following us. It's pretty nice. I think today it said that our our uh, was it? Our growth was 2,371% more than it has been because we had a couple of people sign up. <laughs> like, wow, thanks for that percentage. I needed that boost. of I needed that ego boost right there. 2,000% more, more people. It's like, you know, on TV, uh, you'll see them do, like, these polls. And it always says, like, you know, inflation is up 50% more than last year. I'm, and I want, I want to know, 50% of what? One? 50% of four? You know, it makes a difference when you talk in those numbers. Yeah. You know, and they say, oh, 73% of people asked said that they would not vote for whoever, whoever. And it's like, well, how many people was yeah, that? One like thing, four, one thing, three, eight, 25? One thing I learned about taking polls and stuff in, in college and stuff, you can you can target the right answer. These people you asked, were they coming out of convention specifically about your topic? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder your poll is kind of skewed. I'm just saying. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's another problem. Your poll skewed. I think I met, they got medicine for that. <laughs> Holy crap. We really yeah. kind of got off on a different direction here. We oh, always do. We always do. We always start, that's fine. Just, you know, going off on our own little thing. And this is uh, no drugs, <laughs> barely any alcohol. I, I am totally sober. <laughs> uh, you know, just imagine yeah. what we could do if we were on some something. <laughs> Somebody got some somebody got some edibles you want to send we were us? On some, something. You got to send us some edibles uh, and we'll try. I'm just saying. <laughs> Caffeine. I think that's about all. Yeah. DM me. We'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, crap. All right, let's yeah. get into this. So, first part of the show, as always, we're going to do some political topics. And there's one big one from today. Holy crapola. Yeah. There's a Chinese... Spy balloon flying over the United States, and we're not doing a fucking thing and we about don't it. Care? Let it fly. Oh. Just let it go. It's not hurting anyone. No, not today. You know. It, 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 sorry, go ahead. I, <laughs> I, th- I have this this vein in my head. And it's I think about to it's pop. About to it's explode, to and I might have a stroke. Yeah. It's that, and China's like, it's just a weather balloon that went off course. Went off yeah, course. It's a weather it's, balloon. It's so far up there, you can't get a conventional aircraft to it. And it's gone 6,380 miles from China around Alaska, looped around Alaska, and then came across Canada, has now entered the United States and Montana, is heading east. Hmm, that is really it, weird. It's gone over several Air Force sites. Oh, yeah. What was that? I've got... Uh, yeah, in Montana... Now you've got uh, uh, Malmstrom Air Force Base in Montana. It's gone over that. It's gone over uh, Minot Air Force Base in North Dakota, Mm -hmm. Grand Forks Air Force Base Mm -hmm. in North Dakota. Uh, It was up high enough that it was able to spy on if... Maybe they're just looking at all the land that they own. (laughs) Oh. Uh, We're going to touch on that in a second. But it was up... It's high Mm -hmm. enough uh, in the air that it could actually uh, spy on F.E. Warren Air Force Base in Wyoming and all the way down to Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada. You know what else is in Nevada? Area 51. I was going to say Las Vegas. <laughs> well, let can spy on Las Vegas. <laughs> all those idiots. I'm sure for $20 by Vegas will let you spy on it, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, man. I, anyway. I, the, the fact that this morning was the last time that I actually watched anything about this yeah. because it was honestly going to, and my eye was starting to twitch. Um, they were just saying, you know, the guys at the Pentagon come out. Um, yeah, we're watching it. It doesn't seem to be causing any problems. 
and uh, you know, the military doesn't need to worry about it, and uh, we don't want to shoot it down because we don't want to hurt anybody on the ground, so we're just going to let it go. Okay. I'm like, okay, dudes, the first time you saw it was over Montana. Have you been to Montana? <laughs> the, the the thing that's, that's, that that um, you're most in danger of hitting if you were to shoot it down over Montana would be a cow. Okay? All right? <laughs> hey, cow's lives matter, too. Yeah, Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right. Whatever. It's just the, the fact that because China is paying Biden so much money, <laughs> he doesn't want to piss Rock them the off boat. Rock the boat, baby. by shooting down their big balloon. So he's just going to be like, no, 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 no. We're just going to let it go. It's yeah. not hurting anybody. Yeah. And, and, and then he goes, I've been advised from the Pentagon not to do anything about it. Okay. Yeah. Who's paying off the Pentagon? Yeah. <laughs> All right, how much money are they getting? We know who's paying Biden off. Wait, who's paying <laughs> off the Pentagon? All right, and I, and my certain people in my family don't believe that there's any kind of connection between Hunter Biden and all this money that he gets for doing nothing because he's a moron, moron and his dad uh-huh. getting paid by Hunter for. I don't even know. You know, 50, 50 grand a month. Anyway, I, yeah, I, I kicking digress. back ten percent to the big guy. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the the China <laughs> thing is really annoying. Okay. Mm-hmm. They. My personal thoughts are: we need to like cut all ties with China because we have put too many eggs in their basket just so that we can have affordable things. Well, maybe we don't need all those things. Okay. Let's cut off that supply chain and start building that shit here in America. Yeah, it's going to raise the cost of those products, but then you're going to realize real quick, did I really need that thing? If you really need that thing, you're going to get that thing. But if you didn't really need that thing to begin with, you're going to go, I don't want to spend the money on that. I can spend it on something else. And then you'll start to realize that thing that you were paying for that was made so cheaply in China wasn't worth it. Okay, mm-hmm. that's one of my thoughts. Okay, but China, we got what? What? What have they done for us lately? Oh, we had a virus that shut the country down. Yeah, which they still haven't said. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, sorry. No, sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. We no. no, we didn't do that. We had nothing to do with that. No, oh it wasn't God. us. Sweatshops left and right for the products being over there. Mm-hmm. Uh, all the ingredients for fentanyl being shipped over and sold to the um. Um, Cartel. The cartels down in Mexico, so it can be brought, brought across the, front, the border and killing us. Yeah. Um, three to four hundred people a day killed in fentanyl, fentanyl overdoses. And then, what is it? The, the China Chinese corporations buying up the farmlands around the military bases. Why? Why? Are they going to be taking the food back to themselves, or they just want to get close enough to the military base where they can build something underground that nobody knows about and monitor the military bases? They are trying to figure out what they can get away with with America. Yeah. Okay. What are we going to do? Because they toyed with with Taiwan. Yeah. And all we did was shake finger at them. You better not not do that. Oh, my gosh. The old man's out there shaking a finger at you. it's, It's like your kids. They're going to do stuff just to see how far they can push, push you, you before you completely go off. And mm-hmm. nowadays, that's like, the, uh, you know, nothing. Nothing yeah. happens. Your kids push you. Nothing happens. Yeah. No one, ha- there's no consequences. And so, so far with this president, there it's have the been no consequences yeah. at all for anything. Except, uh, was it Anthony Blinken was supposed to go over there for a meeting oh, of yeah. some sort. And he said, oh, I'm going to that meeting right. now. Yeah, so we've, we've so there's, there's, there's to you. Shaking that finger. Oh, yeah, see, see, we've yeah, canceled see that. Trip. We've canceled my trip because that's what that's what we're telling them. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. my God. They didn't want to talk to you in the freaking first place. That's why they sent the balloon. <laughs> to get you to not come over for they crying out loud. They don't care about us. They want to see what they can do before we'll stand up. And with this president, uh, with it's not going to happen. This president, this administration, all the people in charge running this country, mm-hmm. they have... They have no huspa. They have no balls. We need people with balls of steel yeah. running this country. Yeah. Where you F with this country, you're going to get a boot in the freaking ass. Yeah. So um, we need to shoot. We need Toby Keith. We need Toby <laughs> Keith. <laughs> Toby, where are Toby. you? Oh, he's battling stomach. Oh, cancer. shit, Toby. Yeah. Get um, better so yeah, you can come get better. Home. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so that's the China. Oh, what was the last thing before we even started recording? We we're doing some last minute notes here. 
What did you find the article? Oh, wait, they found a second freaking balloon. Yeah, they found a second one now. So oh, my God, there's two of them. They're now sitting around trying to figure out what they're not going to do about that one, too. <laughs> uh, you know, meetings upon meetings of, well, we're just going to sit and wait and see what happens. We're just going to sit here and shake our, our fingers. Oh, you're making me mad now. Get off my lawn! You damn whippersnappers! Yeah. Let's see what we're not going to do about that. We need somebody well. that's going to be like the old man sitting on the porch in Gran Torino. That's what we need. <laughs> we need somebody. Clint Eastwood, we need you, buddy. We need somebody. Step up. All right. Oh, that's the secret uh, spy balloon. Okay, that's right up there with the police stations and stuff. The secret police station oh, secret we talked police, about last yeah. time. That you heard of for like five seconds? Five seconds, man. Oh, my God. Okay. I don't know. I think maybe that we've already sold ourselves to China and, and we just don't know it. No, the people don't know the it. The people don't. Right. The people don't. But, you know, yeah. the high figures that are up in Washington. Oh, they know it. it. We don't know. It's like we've already been sold to China. Yeah. You know, they're just, you know, slowly. Taking us over. <laughs> coming in and doing what they want. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Great. Douchebags. <laughs> Douchebags. All of them. Oh, so what else do we have on that? You're gonna you're running this one a little bit more here. Uh, the, the the political side of things. What's what else that we got? Say you? I'm running it. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is great. This is great radio. This is great radio, <laughs> isn't it? What, what else did you want to you? talk about politics wise? I don't remember. Don't remember. No. About them bite a hunter in his laptop in the oh well, yeah well you know where they came out and they basically said yes it's hunter's laptop and we're gonna sue everybody and everybody's that's been using like information bingo it is his he said it he took he said it out loud it's his so now we know whereas a couple of years ago everybody was like nope 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 it's not his it's not his it's from the russians 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 and then the next day 24 hours later. His defense people, whoever they are. We're not saying it's his. We're not saying it's his laptop. No, they're saying it's his laptop, but not the stuff on the laptop. We don't know who that is. Okay. I'm like, it, it's him. It, it's his. It's it's Hunter. It's, it's videos He's of him. He's a it's... moron douchebag. And... Yeah, but they are, yeah, they're trying to sue anybody. Anybody that's used the footage that's or used anything. anything which is like, they're going to sue every single person everybody, in the world. Everybody in the world. Everybody versus the, used the world. You know, because yep. everybody's used it. Everybody's shown it. Everybody has, you know, I mean, we, we've seen pretty much everything on the laptop. I, I don't understand what they're trying to do except for the fact that they screwed up and now they have to backpedal. Mm hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, what gets me is, for years, uh, those of us who have said these things have been told that we are, you know, bootlickers. We're fascists. That we're just idiots. I mean, that um, we're following we're the supreme conspiracy leader. Conspiracy theorists and stuff like yeah, that. But yeah. we have we have been called stupid. Yeah, we have been called. You know, you just follow whatever whatever Fox News says. That's what yeah. you believe. Yeah. <sighs> been, been told that by friends and family. Mm -hmm. And that's disheartening. That is heartbreaking. What's even more heartbreaking is the fact that we are being vindicated because a lot of the shit is coming true and being mm -hmm. found to be true for crying right. out loud. A lot loud. of the things that we were saying, now they are finding out. You know, there was no Russia, Russia, Russia. There was no Russia, Russia, Russia. You know, uh, Schiff didn't have absolute evidence of yeah. anything to do with anything. Which goes back to why he shouldn't be on the intelligence Which, committee because, because he, he has lied. No intelligence. Lied and he has no good character. He's just yeah. a douchebag. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Uh, so there's just a lot of things, you know, that have come out where Trump was saying this isn't, this isn't, this isn't, and now we found out for sure, positively, for sure. that this isn't like the laptop. There was like the fifty or fifty-one. Fifty-one um, security officials. Yeah. No, okay. said, uh, nope. This is Russian disinformation, and. Uh, they need to do um, um, a Kavina committee and bring every one of those guys in oh, front are. of them. They are. It, it, Good. They are. It's are to, they? It's Congress. <laughs> they're going to uh, be. Yeah, they're uh, going to be subpoenaed and brought in. Yes. Good. They're going to want to talk. They to need to air that them. shit. Well, well, let's have our own. Know. Let's have our own January sixth. Oh. <laughs> 
Bullshit. Bullshit. And of course, the Democrats are all, <clears throat> oh, you know, why are you doing this? You're just doing this because we did it. And it's like, yeah. Okay. So what? What, what are we supposed to let you walk all over us and, and say thank you? And say thank you for it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand a lot of these people, these talk the people on all these different channels that we watch, you know, the CNNs and the MSNBCs, and they're all talking like, you know, this is why, you know, the Republicans, they're the hypocrisy. And it's like, huh? Huh? <laughs> what? 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 What are you talking about? So the, it's, the it's hypocrisy. <laughs> hypocrisy of it all. <laughs> God almighty. God almighty. Okay. Um, well, I think we really just that that balloon thing is really the thing that's really got me going tonight. Yeah. So I don't really have anything else on the political front or any mainstream. Anything other mainstream you want to talk about? Um, that's going on out there that we can think of right now. No. Nope. Now the biggest thing was the balloon that. And the second balloon. We're gonna let it do whatever. And the second balloon now and. <sighs> it's really. Just it's it's annoying and what is it? Because um, you know that if say the United States sent a balloon like this one over China, it wouldn't last three seconds, no, and they don't care where they no. shot it down. They don't care whose house it falls on. <laughs> it could be right above you know a whatever a the school and everything else place that holds the most people, and they wouldn't care. They're like shoot it down. I don't care. Yeah, and what, uh, through all of this, going back to the you know being told <clears throat> that we're crazy and all that stuff like that thing is about it is it's it's not the lies that bothered me it's the insult to my intelligence that i find offensive you you guys insulted us and continue to do so and even though everything we have we've discussed or tried to talk to you about is, is coming to fruition mm -hmm. and coming to light so by all means keep calling us crazy keep insulting our intelligence that's okay um, because we're, <laughs> I'm a bigger person. <laughs> oh, as my dad say, I got more ass and you got teeth. Go, keep chewing. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> anyway. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's so, there's so much CRAP going on mm -hmm. in Washington mm -hmm. right now on so many different fronts and levels that you could sit and literally we could talk about this yeah. for hours we could, of different we could, things. And, we could make a list and go on for hours and hours and hours yeah. about things, but we just want to hit the quick highlights that are out there right now. In fact, was it next week? I think next Tuesday is the State of the Union. I, that's what you said. I don't know. That's what they said earlier on TV. I could be wrong. But the next one, we'll do a special. We'll do an episode on that and kind of yeah, because uh, Sarah Are Huckabee you... Sanders is going to be doing the Republican response. Oh, that'll be good. And so I can't wait to see her. That'll be good. So we will definitely take notes and talk about that. Yeah, yeah. We'll do yeah. a. We'll maybe do an extended, maybe a special episode just on that or something like that. Ooh, Ooh that'd be fun. Ooh. Ooh, everybody, put that on your calendar. Yeah. Watch yeah, for that. then we'll have one person listen to it. <laughs> Thank you, Aunt Linda. <laughs> and I love it. She said she may not ever agree with what we have to say, but she'll always support us, and that's awesome. And I <laughs> I can totally, totally respect that, and yeah. thank you. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, so from there, let's move over to a little more fun stuff, the um, the little pop culture kind of things. You know, um, what did you – you had a bunch of lists that you wanted to talk about some oh, things. No, I just – it's I uh... – have this um, website that I go to every uh -huh. once in a while, and it's called Is My Show Canceled dot com, and mm. I've had it for years, and I can go to it like every day, and yeah, they, she, they pretty much, I mean, right when it happens, they're posting it. Yeah, I think so, she takes great pleasure in letting me know some of the things that I really <laughs> like. Her, the whole her show's been canceled so on after six shows, episodes. I'm like, what the yes! crap? Yes, I don't have to watch that anymore. Jupiter's Legacy. I'm, I'm eight episodes in. Oh, your show got canceled. Damn it! What the <laughs> shit? Stop watching it because there's no there's no season two. Um, so I just kind of wanted to um, share share some Somebody of the got. things that have been. Uh, it, it tells you what's been canceled, stuff that's been renewed. Yeah, and blah, I think blah, blah. one of the ones you're going to talk about being renewed, I got some notes and stuff I want to go over. So let's let's hit okay. that. Let's go with that. Um, let me start with. Where do you go? Where do you go? I'm on my phone trying to do this. So uh, it makes for great radio because you're away from the microphone. Hold with me. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, it also tells you up at the top what uh, new stuff might be coming on that night. 
So if you look at it in the morning, it's like, oh, that new drama, Dear Edward, premieres today on Apple TV+. Plus. What the shit that is Dear Edward? You? It's, um... What the shit is Dear Edward? So we saw the, um... It's a drama following a young boy who is the sole survivor of a disastrous plane crash. Oh. Remember, it has, um... Yeah, that looks, that looks sad and what's interesting. What's her name from Friday Night Lights and... That looks very that looks sad and interesting at the same time. So yeah, it really yeah. Well, that's so, depressing. So that's, oh, that's good. <laughs> Not gonna go back. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, it, it, it'll tell you like recent cancellations. And um, what has been canceled? Pennyworth. Now that one that kind of that kind of pisses me off because I just found out about Pennyworth, and it is the um, the history of Alfred, uh, Batman's um, butler, mm-hmm. uh, before he was a butler for um, the Wayne family. And uh, dude was pretty badass, and uh, this was the, this was his story. And what did they do? Two seasons and cancel it? Uh, I think so. I think there's no season three. That, that really yeah. sucks because it's. I was like, I just found that literally barely about a month ago, and haven't been able to watch any of it. And now I'm like, why do I even bother? Because they've canceled it. Of course, that goes along with the Warner uh, merger and stuff with Discovery, and they've come and trashed everything, and. Uh, it was James Gunn that's taken over, and as uh, I was reading an article about him today about that, and he's got some insight on a few things. He he walked in and he says the, the DC and their and their IP were um, like intellectual properties mm-hmm. were were a mess, and then his next thing was it was a total f-ing mess. That was exact exact quote from James Gunn. He said so they were giving licenses to their IPs to anybody that would look at them and smile. And he said the only things that were ever ever really successful were the Arrowverse, which is the CW stuff. Mm. You know, so that's why he's mm. coming in and he's going to get it all straightened up. And he might actually put it back in line and do like a real MCU style with DC. Okay. So if it if it works out, great. But they they've canceled a few other projects and stuff too. But go ahead with okay. Pennyworth, okay? All right, Pennyworth was can- okay. Uh, Netflix renewed that 90s show, which is something I really want to see. Yeah, I've got it in the queue. We just haven't started watching it. Uh, Taylor watched it, and my daughter, and uh, she said that it was really funny. It's really good. So mm-hmm. I'm looking interested. I'm looking forward to that one. Okay, 1923 has been renewed for season two on Paramount Plus. That is uh, the third or the second Yellowstone, mm-hmm. but the third Yellowstone sh- series, but the second spinoff, mm-hmm. telling about the family and how where they came from. Was it mm-hmm. 1883 is the first one? I think so. 1883. That yeah. was the Tim McGraw. The Tim McGraw one. And, and this one is uh, uh, Harrison, Harrison Ford. Ford. And, of course, you got Yellowstone with Kevin Costner and, and all that. So, yeah. so um, I know everybody's a huge fan of this. Mom is. She's dying to watch Yellowstone and like that. And um, a lot of people are. And. Honestly, I know once we do start watching it, we probably will be as well. Yeah. We sat down, we watched the first episode, and it was okay. Yeah, it was depressing. It was okay. It didn't... It I mean, didn't... It's, it's, it's in the time of Cowboys and Indians. It's going to be No, you People watched 1883, gonna... the first oh, episode right. of Yellowstone. Oh, Yellowstone. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we, it was okay. We just It just didn't really grab us to start watching it right then and there. But it's, yeah. it's in the queue. Yeah. We'll, we'll absolutely. get to it. Absolutely. Okay. And Amazon renews the terminal list. Now that one, that one is uh, um, awesome. Let's see, I'm going to scroll down. Where's my, there it is. All right. So the terminal list, that's Cr- uh, Chris Pat- Platt. Good God. Chris Pratt. Pratt. Good <laughs> Lord. Lay off the East Siders. Nope. I just cracked another <laughs> one open. Chris Pratt plays James Reese, a Navy SEAL, and uh, his return after his platoon uh, is ambushed. And it was a setup, and then he goes after every person involved, and the, that list it runs deep. Yeah, yeah. And I actually sat down and watched that with you. I, I almost it was pretty good. I almost wanted wanted to binge the whole thing in one day. I think we yeah. we broke it up and we did it in like two days, I think. But that was uh, great. Yeah, it was a pretty good show. Great. Um, and finally, let's see. Well, there's a lot more, but um, NBC renews Night Court. Night Court, and as you guys have not had a chance to watch the new Night Court, wow, man. I am loving it. Uh, I was a huge fan of the original Night Court, and I know you were too. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was extremely young back then, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, this one, that what one thing I love is I, I hate a reboot of things, and um, this wasn't a reboot. It, it's, a, it's, it's a reboot in the sense they're bringing the show back to, to air in modern times, but it's not a reboot. They're paying homage to the original one. Um, who's it? Melissa Rouch. 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 If you Rouch. don't know her, she played Bernadette from The Big Bang Theory. 
she plays the judge, and she is Harry Anderson's daughter. She's so cute. And <laughs> she does a great job on this one, and she she, she drags um, John, Larroquette's, John Larroquette's character, Dan Fielding, back into the, the night court system. But this time he comes back, instead of the district attorney, he comes in as a defense, the, the court-appointed defense attorney. And it's a huge switch for his character. So it's pretty funny. His first episode, he comes in and he's acting like his he was the, the district attorney. And convict this, but she goes, you're on the defense. Oh, my, she's totally innocent. <laughs> <laughs> and the woman who plays the bailiff is really good, too. Really she's, good. She's uh, so far, to me, not as good as the original as bailiff. As Marsha Warfield? Marsha, yes. She's, she was deadpan. But she she's, awesome. she's trying to fill those big shoes. Yeah. Speaking of big shoes, Richard Mull. Uh-huh. Oh, God, I wish he would just make a, a an appearance. Yeah, you know, I really would. If you if you don't remember Richard Mall, I played Bull, Bull Shanahan. Oh, Shannon, Shannon, whatever. Bull yeah, Shannon. Yeah, he played my one of my favorite things I remember about him is re, you remember what what wine cooler company was that it had all the polar bears and they were making people celebrities dressed as a polar bear do the commercial as a polar bear, and the last few seconds they take the hat off the head off and you see who it was. But his, oh, I don't remember that. He, his character came out there. And it's, it's, it's talk, I just remember the line, <laughs> try it, you'll like it, or I'll crush you like a grape. <laughs> anyway, that's bull. I'll have to look that up. It is. I don't remember. I don't now. I, don't I seem to remember what you're talking about now, but I, don't I have remember, no idea. I don't remember what which one that was. <laughs> I that remember was, Bartles and It Jane. was the age of wine coolers, guys. Yeah. <laughs> the age of wine support. coolers, yeah. Okay. Matilda Bay was mine, by the way. <sighs> anyway, also, oh, 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 touching on Night Court, let's switch over to the to the original Night Court. We had Richard Mall. You had Harry Anderson, who was astounding, uh, great, so funny, magician, yeah, and comedian at the same time. Uh, some of his old stand ups are still out there. Um, God rest his soul, he's not around anymore. But yeah. man, he was awesome. I loved him as a comedian, and when he took on uh, Night Court. Uh, he really shined. Uh, he got to be his comedic self, but he also got to do some serious acting in there. And it was yeah. really awesome yeah. to watch him grow as a, as a, what am I looking for? As a TV entity. Yeah. He was a judge who cared. Yeah. Judge who cared. You and know, he the, always learned a lesson. Yeah. It was good. Yeah, um, the, some of the things that people don't know about it, there was uh, Marky Post. She did a great job. Rest, rest in peace for her. Mm-hmm. Then you had Charles Robinson, who played Mac, who was the, mm-hmm. um, uh, what is his role? He's the he was the court clerk. Uh, court, yeah. Yeah. But some of you may or may not remember, if you ever watched it, uh, you may know a little, a little well-known actor by the name of Brent Spiner. Everybody knows him as Data and as all of the Noonie and Soon characters from Star Trek and Picard and everything else. But what you don't know is one of his most iconic characters before Star Trek was that of Bob Wheeler on Night Court. Seven episodes, him and his wife, the Wheelers, um, they were just uh, poor, unlucky hillbillies that came in front of the judge. And uh, every time they had a, a pathetic story, <laughs> and uh, at one point they... Uh, they end up trying to. They end up buying the um, cafeteria newsstand at the courthouse, and they they pay way too much for it. They sell everything they have, and they pay all their money. and They pay way too much for it, and as a result, they end up having to overprice things. So everything is through the roof. But that was an extremely memorable character, and you can find a lot of that on YouTube. But one of my favorite characters also on there was um, an actor by the name of Stephen Root. Okay. And a lot of people will know him as Dale, the voice of Dale from King of Hill. But most people will remember him as Milton from Office Space. This is my stapler. You don't know. I, I could burn this whole place down. <laughs> Anybody see my stapler? Yeah, yeah. Stapler's a red yeah. stapler. They, uh, my check didn't come back, come come through today. Um, um. <laughs> God, he's so amazing. But one of my favorite roles of his, he, he was on an episode of this one, and the episode was Death Takes a Halloween. And he plays Mr. Um, Willard, and uh, he's the angel of death. And he gets arrested for some minor charge, and he shows in front of Harry, and he doesn't have any money to pay a fine. And he starts trying to talk Harry out of um, uh, finding him guilty, and Harry puts uh, puts him in jail for contempt of court. And he says, you've got to release me. I'm the angel of death, and if I don't do my job, people aren't going to go where they need to go. And... He doesn't think he think he's telling the truth. He thinks he's a nutball, so he arrests him for attempt, attempt, contempt of court. And while he's in there, 
miraculous people start surviving miraculous accidents that should have been devastating to them and everything. Miraculous people? Yeah, something like that. Start surviving miraculous. All right. (laughs) Whatever. Slow down there. People. Start yes. surviving accidents that should miraculously, miraculously start. start. Jesus Christ, many people miraculously start <laughs> su- surviving accidents that they should have died in. Okay. Oh, my All God. Right. So, anyway, so Harry has to decide, is he really the angel of death or not? And, man, his performance in that, I've always just remembered him from that role. So Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, I know you don't want to talk about this anymore. Yeah. Moving, Moving on. on. <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, King of the Hill. Mm-hmm. Hulu has revived. Hell King yeah! Hell yeah! Back. I was kind of oh, excited about it, that. Bobby. Yeah, <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> so that, that'll be fun to watch. I love Dale. He was yeah. my favorite. Well, Dale and who was the other one? Boom Hire. Boom Hire. Mm-hmm. Boom mm-hmm. I knew one. I knew. Mm-hmm. I knew a guy. Mm-hmm. It was Boom Hire. Anyway, yeah. uh, so that's coming back. I'll be fun to watch. Yeah. Um. Let's see. La Brea renewed for season three. Yeah. Uh, has any, have you heard of the Mysterious Benedict Society on Disney Plus? No. It sounds interesting. Well, it's been canceled, so don't get oh, into shit. it. Don't get into it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Of course, Family Guy, <laughs> The Simpsons, Bob Burgers, they've all been renewed through season 422. <laughs> uh, Netflix renews The Recruit. I've heard some good things about that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. More 2023 news. Click here. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Let me get down to where I was a second ago. Doom Patrol to end with season four. I think we all kind of knew that was going to. Again, that's part of the DC um, yeah. universe thing. But yeah. I think okay. I think we kind of we were kind of expecting it after season three. So I think if they if they let them have the season four, they can wrap up a lot of storylines. Yeah. But if you haven't watched Doom Patrol, man, that is really a good show. Yeah. Great characters. Um, um, Brendan Fraser. Fra- Fraser? Fra- Fraser. God oh, almighty, Fraser? I can't talk tonight. Yeah. Plays, um... Oh, crap. What's the character's name? Shit. <sighs> this is great radio, isn't it? <laughs> okay, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> um, Just watch it. It's good. I promise you. You'll <laughs> like it. And if you don't, tell me about it later. Oh, that, wait. You gotta subscribe so you can comment. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Ending after season 14 is NCIS Los Angeles. So there's another one going away. Yeah, eh, I don't watch any of them. Yeah. Uh, Cobra Kai has been renewed for a final six seasons. Jesus. Uh, Outlander renewed for final season eight. Seal Team renewed for season seven. My mother will be excited about yeah, that. She, she loves will. that show. She will be. Uh, Hulu renews Shorzy. Hell yeah, Shorzy! <laughs> Tug your balls, eh? <laughs> Tug your own balls. <laughs> I love Shorzy. It was hilarious. Watch it. Watch it. The, the first mass, season. The Mass Singer was renewed for season nine. Uh, we, we, how many do we have on I the think DVR? We've got like two seasons. We We're like two year. and a half seasons behind. We don't even know who in, who won one, two seasons ago. <laughs> we don't even know. <sighs> no spoilers. Don't tell. Uh, Criminal Minds Evolution has been re, uh, renewed. That's good. That's a good one. Really good. We're in the middle. We're we're in the middle of watching that one. Really good. Yeah, Ghosts has been renewed for season three. Funny freaking show, people. Hilarious. Really good show. Really good show. I mean, at first I thought, how are they going to ghost? I mean, it's it's awesome. But it's really a good show. I look forward to seeing that. Uh, Abbott Elementary, of course, renewed for season three. They won a bunch of awards. And well deserved too. Yes, very good show as well. Yeah. Fear the Walking Dead ending with season eight. Well, we knew that was coming, and it needs to. So that's good. They're going to be opening up. They're going to be expanding the world of the Walking Dead into more movies. And um, it was supposed to originally be television movies, two-hour television movies, mm-hmm. but uh, they're actually going to be released in theaters. Wow. I'm like, you guys really are putting that kind of money into it. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. And then we've got a couple of spinoffs on there. Mm-hmm. We've already talked about that before on the podcast, the spinoffs. Yeah, there's lots yeah. of fans out there. Uh, Fire Country, renewed for season two. I've got that on the DVR. <sighs> I need to watch it. Apparently, it's decent if it's really? renewed. Well, I mean, <laughs> you're talking about, you're living in a time where after like the second one, they, they'll cancel something. That's true. You know, That's so true. if you make it through a whole season, hey. That's true. It's pretty good. And let's see, Netflix renews Wednesday. 
Duh. Well, if they didn't renew Wednesday, I think <laughs> the world would have revolted. <laughs> they would have lost half of their followers for crying out loud. Didn't so anyway, that's Wednesday. just stuff that's come on uh, that website in the past couple of weeks. So <laughs> I'll keep an eye on it until next week, and I'll tell you what's been renewed or canceled. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, if you haven't been paying attention. Uh, and you probably haven't. And you haven't. <laughs> Austin's under another winter storm. What are they calling it? Arbageddon? Because everybody's got to go out there. Snowmageddon? And, they're calling it like Arbageddon because everybody's got to get out there and go chop down their trees and stuff. Because, <laughs> well, because nobody takes care no. of their stuff. And so well, when something like Energy, this happens. Austin Energy didn't do anything. They didn't do crap. And they're still not doing crap. Taylor, our daughter's been out of power for three days now, going on three days. They're over at a friend's house charging all their devices. Luckily, they're staying warm in the house. Your folks, we just talked to them before sitting down to record here. Yep. They're having to go out to the car and charge their phones up in the car so they can come back inside and take care of the tin, the fire, and the fireplace, the fireplace and try to stay yeah. warm. Try to stay warm. That's really sucks. Yeah. I mean, you have older folks out there. Come on. Yeah. You know, what What are people doing that don't have the ability, you know, like my parents do, to keep a fireplace going? Yeah. You know, or just anything, you know, that that's, get it together. Get it, yeah, this, y'all had plenty of time to uh, prepare for this to happen. And you need, everybody in Austin, anybody listening to this, if you're in Central Texas, you need to start being prepared for this crap. Mm -hmm. Buy a whole house generator, okay? It's going to cost you a little bit of money up front. But when it's the dead of winter, it's 20-something degrees, and all the power goes out for three days straight, that generator is going to save your ass. Yeah. It probably might might do you a little better than your solar is doing you. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> I people mean, People spend it, a lot of money on that. We so. spent a lot of time in um, seven years in New Hampshire, and we've seen what it's like to be right this minute. We talked to our friend today. It's negative 11 up there right now with a wind chill of negative 33. Yeah. And, and people, that's cold. That's cold. All right. <laughs> you think you're cold now? You think you're cold that's now? Cold. That's cold. <laughs> you know, I, I happily told him, dude, it's 51 today where we're at, and it's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> we're it's really wearing nice shorts. and sunny. Yeah, I was wearing flip flops. And <laughs> it's great. So, anyway, Austin and Central Texas, you guys just need to start being prepared. Go ahead and yeah. spend the money. Get you a whole house generator. You know, because this is going to happen more and more going forward. There's a ton of people moving to, um, our areas and overloading the grid. They're not the, the government and the electric companies. They're not doing what they need to, to expand the grid, to yeah. back up the grid, to yeah. repair it, to have it prepared for this type of stuff. Cause they've got all their windmills and all that stuff out there. That's supposed to do Jesus. something. It's, it's crazy. It's a far. It's, it's a far. And, and all the, Oh my gosh. In the area where my parents live, it's uh it's called Manor. And then you've got Taylor and Hutto and all those places. There's a lot of companies, big companies that are coming in and building. The new Samsung plant is going to be out there. Samsung, um, Tesla's around there. There's just all kinds of stuff going on. And so uh, there are a bazillion different new uh, housing developments going yeah. in. And these are not the... It's like, how? how? I, worked, I worked a project when we were in Texas last time. Mm -hmm. and we did all the, the cable for this one neighborhood over there. And the neighborhood, it was a cornfield. It was a freaking cornfield, and they built these streets, and then we put all the, the the cable system in there and stuff like that. And we've gone back now. We've, we've got back here. We've gone we, for a year. A year. We drove back. The neighborhood's built, and there were a couple of houses for sale, and we looked them up. $630,000 in a yeah. cornfield in Hutto. Yeah. Kiss my ass. Yeah. So it only took a basically a year for them to get it all done. Build out that neighborhood. That neighborhood is built up. There are houses everywhere. I I couldn't even tell because I saw it when y'all were putting all y'all stuff in. And it was it rained and so it was just a big mud field. Mud field. <laughs> basically it was is what it was. Mud. <clears throat> and now it's it's a neighborhood. It is a neighborhood. You know? And there are a lot more a lot more of them. Going in, and there's a Everywhere lot of you look. yeah, and there's a lot of the the for sale signs up in all these fields. And I look it up to see, oh, how much is that? And it's like you know, 150 acres for 18 billion dollars or whatever. And you know, it'll be sold. It'll be sold. It'll be sold, and there will be houses on it mm -hmm. next year. There's a and, 500 acre plot out there by the uh, the rail yard that Tesla's using in Hutto. Mm -hmm. 
that's been sold, 500 mm-hmm. acres. Yeah. They've got new power lines going out there. They're starting to cut roads in and a new gas pipeline going in there. Yeah. That's going to expand, and that's all going to be in freaking neighborhoods. Yeah. There's a new subdivision going in right down from my parents, and it's going to be coming in yeah, on your, them. Your parents are going to be surrounded. They, yeah. I mean, all these different uh, – because you have all these people coming in to work at all these mm-hmm. places, and they're going to need somewhere to live. I just don't know how the grid is going to support all this. Yeah, well, and water – you got. They got to have water. They got to have electricity. Everything. It's like there's going to be thousands and thousands of families that move in here. Yeah. Well, we see the grid right now is not doing any good. If your parents have been out for how many days now? Have you been three or four days now? Three or four days. Three or four They've days. been out of power. Mm-hmm. It's a. Uh, can I say the name of the company that they're waiting to? Uh, sure. Screw Encore. Encore. Encore does all the the field work for Austin Energy and and um, all the other small ones in the communities around Maynard and Flagler. Yeah, and I don't like know that. exactly what company my parents get the their power through, the power but it's still through. Encore still maintains the yeah. lines and takes care of it. Yeah, so uh, they, there's a friend of ours that lives as a crow flies, maybe three miles away from them. She hasn't had electricity in three or four days. Um, um, my stepdad's brother lives by about six or seven miles away. He hasn't had electricity. Yeah. It's it's pretty bad. That's it's bad. pretty bad. It's pretty messed up. So they need to they need to figure yeah. it out. And what really sucks is that uh, my father in law, your your stepdad, uh, this last year has I've been toying with the idea of looking into this whole house generators. <laughs> I, and I think I distinctly remember telling him it wouldn't be a bad investment. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. And now what's happened? They've been mm-hmm. on the power for three days, three, four days, fire in the fireplace. Yeah. And we were like, why don't you go to Anthony's house, your, her, Robin's brother's house? Yeah. They have power. And they're like, well, we have all the chickens and three <laughs> cats and a dog. <laughs> my and mom, my mother has, I think now, she just got like, I think six or seven new chickens. So she probably has like eight or nine chickens at this point. And she's uh, lost quite a 50 few. 50 bajillion peacocks. And I think she has like 16 freaking peacocks. She's got three cats and one dog. And it's just like, you know, God, uh, Green Acres. And of course, th- so they can't go anywhere. Yeah. I mean, you know? we, I think we have it bad because when we, we try to plan a vacation or a plan a trip or anything, we have to plan around Paco. If we have one dog. We have one dog. We have to plan around Paco. And most of the time it's like, hey, call Camp Bow Wow and let's make yeah, a reservation. Call somewhere. You know? That's it. So we board him. That's how we plan that plan. But they can't do they can't anything. Do they got chickens. And nobody wants to come and take care of all the peacocks and the chickens and the three cats and the dog. And But everybody wants the eggs. But everybody wants the eggs. That's I know. I know. Well, you know, sometimes the my mom has had so many that I mean she can't eat all of them yeah. while they're still good. So she's like, Do you need eggs? Do you need eggs? Do you need eggs? And I I love fresh yeah. farm eggs. Yeah. Oh, we'll take delicious. Them. You know, we're not next to them, we're about three and a half hours away from them right yeah. now. And my stepdad calls and gives me a hard time, you know, I have no electricity. I'm like, Well, what, what do you want, you want me, me to do? do? What, what can I do? You know, and he's like, well, your brother's bringing us some wood tomorrow so we can keep the fire going in the fireplace. And I'm like, okay, do you need food? No. Because we can call H-E-B and make a have a delivery. Know, we can do a delivery if they're doing that right now. And, you know, what do you, I mean, do you want me to come and do something with your electricity? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And the, but for me, the funny thing is that the opposite end of the spectrum, my brother and mother live up in Terrell. Yeah, and they, Dallas, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> it was worse there. <laughs> it was like 22 degrees. I was talking to my brother, and I was like, well, uh, well, how's it going there? He goes, I am running around in my T-shirt and shorts because Mom is burning me out of this house. <laughs> so she's probably got the heater on 98 degrees. 98 degrees. God love her. She's got, at one point, he told me um, they had, she had a space heater in every single room, and all of them set to about 96 degrees, mm-hmm. had the heater on, and he got his electric bill, and it was six hundred dollars. And he's like, "No!" I'd have been like, "Here's no. your sweater. <laughs> Turn it off. Put some. Put a blanket on or something. Figure <laughs> it like, out." Uh uh-uh. uh. Nope. Because when we were there at Christmas, it was cold, but it wasn't near this cold. I mean, it was yeah. chilly, but it wasn't as cold. And she had them damn heaters. I, on, at like one 90. point, she had one in the kitchen, and I sat down at the table, and I, I was sitting. I was like, "Why is my ass on fire?" <laughs> Literally, it felt like my ass was on fire, and I turn around. There's a space heater set at 96 degrees, six inches from my ass. It was so hot, I was dying. I was like, "Honey, I'm sweating. I'm sitting on the couch. I'm sweating. There's a problem." At one point, we were we were sitting there. 
I know mom's not going to listen to this. So if you do, if you ever do, mom, I'm sorry. But I'm sitting there at the table. I had taken a shower, and I'm sitting at the table, and Robin's sitting on the couch across the room. My mom's sitting there, we're watching TV, and I'm sitting at the kitchen table, not moving, not exerting energy of any type. And I pick up my phone. And I just text Robin. I'm melting. Why am I sweating so much? Why am I melting? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it was we, we will okay when we first got there that day. Eric's mom said, "I need you to take me to the post office." Oh. You know, it wasn't. Oh, hey, how you doing? It was. Let's go to the post office. It wasn't even when we got there. It was. It was. We were halfway there, and she that, called. That's true. She's like, "When you get here, okay." So we knew that was going to happen. So I told him, I said, "Well, here's what we're going to do." I said, "You're going to take your mom to the post office because I'm not getting in that Fiat again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not climbing in the back seat of that Fiat, and I'm going to take a shower and everything, get cleaned up." So when you get home, you can take a shower. Okay, that, cool. So they left. I took a shower, got on the couch, and I'm sitting there, and I'm sweating. And I'm sweating. <laughs> and so I texted you or called you or something, and I said, I'm dying. I'm turning off a couple of these heaters. And his mom was like, you can cut off one heater. I cut every single one of them bitches off, <laughs> except for one. And my brother was on the road that night, so we slept in his room. and. <laughs> We, I, I shit you not, we had the window open, and we had a fan going, and even the, and when we went to bed, we turned the heater down. Yeah, and everybody was asleep, and it was comfortable. Middle of the night, I wake up just stifled for breath, going, I can't freaking breathe. At one point, I turned around and laid my head literally right in front of the fan, and I still couldn't sleep the rest of the night. Somebody had gotten up, and like. Guess who? And Guess that who? heater was back up to 90 some odd degrees. <laughs> and even with the window open and we the were laying there on, in bed with no covers on. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. Uh, so, Where's the nearest hotel? You're not making that <laughs> mistake again. We'll be back. We'll be up there starting in March and we're taking the RV. Yeah. We're not spending the night. We love you. We're going to the RV. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Life and times of. The stewards. The, well, the the honey cuts too with the no power in it. Uh, that's true. My my parents when we have stayed there. Well, okay, we've stayed there. Normally, it's been uh, the summertime, and my parents seem to think that seventy six is cold. <laughs> we turned it down to seventy two, and they're like, "Oh, it's freezing in here." Uh, well, my stepdad is like, "Oh, my bill's gonna be out. I can't afford to pay." I said, you know what, if your bill goes up that much for the three hours that we're laying here trying to, you know, I will send you a check. <laughs> three hours. We will pay you for the, our share of the electricity. We're not there for two weeks keeping it on 70 the whole time. <laughs> anyway, like we just wanted to be able to sleep at night. It was it is, horrible. It is great to see our families when we're there, but now we're like, now we're, we're, we can't stay. Well, that's what happens, though, when you stay in a house with people who are of the older persuasion, uh, over 70. Well, and you and I are total opposites. I think you'll be like, oh, it's it's so hot in here, and I'm freaking freezing. And I'm and then when I'm hot, you're like, oh, why is it so cold? And you go to turn the AC down. I'm like, because I'm burning up. What the hell? <laughs> so we're out of sync, too. Yeah, so, oh, life sucks sometimes. <laughs> But, uh, you know, it's what I've always said. I can always put clothes on, but I can only take so much off. <laughs> okay. So, you know, if it's like really cold, okay, I can put a pair of socks on, I can put some pants on, I can put a sweats on, uh, you know, whatever. But if I'm burning up, there's only so much you really want me to take off. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, wow. Okay. So we've kind of beat a horse to death there on those things. Mm -hmm. We're sitting at about 54 minutes right this minute. Um, the last thing I guess we can talk about is what did we do on our on our honeymoon? Mm -hmm. our, <laughs> on our anniversary. What freaking honeymoon? Our anniversary. Nine yeah, years. Our anniversary on the 26th of January. Yeah. Nine years. Uh, we started the day at the USS Lexington. Yeah. That, that was... Corpus. Uh... I will freely admit um, the research we did on it said that it was going to spend about four and a half hours there, and we thought we would spend four and a half hours. And we had to walk up the, the gangplank. Well, no, we didn't have to walk up. There was actually they had a uh, trolley, and so we got a ride up there. I was like, oh, well, that was not bad. Mm -hmm. 
And um, I expected to have to climb down some of the ship ladders and stuff like that. Because if I remember, I'd been there once before when I was a lot younger. And uh, we took the long um, self-guided tour first. And there's five that you can take. And we took the longest one first. And thank God we got the longest one out of the way. And we got to see a lot of the ship. Mm -hmm. But you go through about, you go down like four or five decks. Um, and you're, oh, by the time we came mm -hmm. back up. My back was... Yeah, there was a lot of stairs. And it's not like, you know, regular stairs you see they're nowadays. Ship, they're ship ladders. Oh, my God. They were like tiny little stairs. Almost and, straight vertical. Yeah. I mean, it was it was tough getting up and down those yeah. stairs. Yeah. And um, a lot of respect for the men that spend a lot Much of time on those, on those ships and stuff. Absolutely. Uh, and yeah, it is, it's like when we went to... Uh, when we were in um, Pennsylvania, when we went to the Civil War Museum. Yeah. Uh, much like that, mm -hmm. with this, you you just you didn't realize how I don't say small, but how much smaller people men were. were. Not just men, well, people, people, people okay. in general. People in general, but it's mainly, like you know, if these... you if you go to these plantation homes and you take the tours of the plantation homes, the doors mm -hmm. are so much shorter because people were shorter back then too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean these <laughs> these uniforms that they had on, you know, the the mannequins and stuff. Yeah. I'm I'm sitting there looking at I'm like, okay, a eight year old would wear that nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Our grandson couldn't fit in that. Yeah. I mean the leather yeah. jackets and stuff that these men wore, mm -hmm. you could probably put an eight or ten year old boy in yeah. nowadays. Because you're not getting a <clears throat> a man in, in that anymore. And the bunks that they had to sleep oh, in. Oh, the birthing units, wow. They're tiny. And so it's just it's just like Wow. You I, can't tell me there's not something in the food. <laughs> Something in the water. I don't know. Yeah, that's a whole other story. Because people are right so much bigger. <coughs> <coughs> that's a whole other story. It was, there was a lot to see there. A lot. We actually, after four hours, only did about half of it. Yeah. And um, I was in so much pain with my back and everything. And you were starting to get sore and tired, too. Yeah. Your hip was getting to you. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a lot of walking. Mm -hmm. A lot of climbing. You know, just... Yeah. It's, it's a workout. I'm telling you, it I really got, is. <clears throat> I got a. I, I like uh, the military plans and and uh, uh, stuff like that. So I got a lot of videos and pictures of the the plans and stuff they have there. And uh, anyway, sorry, you're, what's wrong? It just keeps falling off my head. Oh, your head, keep, your head set starts falling. Yeah. Well, adjust it. I did. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Anyway, so I got a lot of that there. Um, <clears throat> they've got, <clears throat> excuse me, wow. <clears throat> Goodness. Goodness gracious. They had escape rooms that we were going to try and do, but guess what? They were an extra $38 a person on top of the $18 we each had to pay to get in there. Uh, and I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I want to do another escape room with the family. Yeah. So I think that's what we're going to do on the escape room. We didn't do one there at the, the Lexington. <clears throat> that would have ate up another hour of our time anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I just really wanted to see a lot more of all the other stuff, <coughs> which was, uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, my husband might be dying. Hmm. Wow. Wow. That's weird. <coughs> anyway. Oh, You've been talking too much? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. But anyway, but it was, it was it's really fun. neat to see we a get... lot of the stuff on there. And, and you realize that. You know, the guys that are on these big ships and all the things they need to know, these these guys have to be pretty smart. Yeah. I mean, you I, have to be pretty smart. Just walking down the down the, the corridor and you're like, what the hell are all these valves for? Yeah. Valves and meters and what buttons shit? and just everything to do uh, with this shit. It's like, oh my God. I mean, you, have, you can't be an idiot. <clears throat> no. And... Be on one of these, and yeah, you know, and, and it was it was a, it was this own little city. They had a, a dentist office. They had seven dental chairs, yeah. and they had their own little um, prosthetics surgery. Yeah. surgery. There's prosthetics where they made their own dentures for the dentures. and yeah, the uh, eyes where you get your eyes checked. Oh my god, it was it was really amazing to see that, and to see the uh, <clears throat> oh crud. The, the things like the mess hall and stuff, and the fact that they yeah. they cooked twenty four seven. Pretty, they had to. 24-7. With all the men that they had to feed. I, what was it, that one thing I read where when pie was on the menu, they had to make 400 and something pies to feed everybody? No, I thought more than that, 600. Was it? I yeah, it was, it was ridiculous. Something. I yeah. got a picture of that sign, too, yeah, by the way. When you think of pies, <laughs> you know, making pies. and So, so it, it 
it, it is it is a city, yeah. and you have to have people to do all the different things. Yeah, and they had a machine shop. So there were so many guys, so many people, oh, back then, men, yeah. on these ships. Yeah, they had a machine shop, and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, they had a, a great display of that and telling how the, everything was worked on it, but also, it's still a working machine shop. So when they have to repair something on the ship, they have all the equipment there to do it there. That's kind of cool. They're That's still cool. using the machine shop. That's that awesome. Very cool. And, you know, we didn't get to see everything on the ship because no. they had a lot of it cordoned off. You couldn't go here. You can go here. <clears throat> They're redoing some of it. So yeah. they had it, you know, and, and so we saw just like one room of where the guys slept. Yeah. And later I'm thinking, there's like, how many guys on these ships? About 5,000. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, ridiculous. I, you know, just all the beds they had to have. Yeah. You know, and where they were, I mean, these ships had to be absolutely huge. Yeah. Yeah, so. <sighs> it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. I got to go up on the flight deck. Yeah, that was awesome. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. and uh, so some of the paths took you down a, a ladder along the side. I'm like, no. Nope. Not yeah. gonna. I'm going to go back the other way I came in. Nope. Yeah, <laughs> I'm that's sorry. what I said, too. It was like, oh, you can go down here. And, I look, and it's like along the edge. Uh, mm -mm. No. Mm-mm. No. Not gonna do it. I said, this is another job I couldn't have done. No. <laughs> I couldn't have been in the Navy. No. Because I'm sir. not going over there. <laughs> no. He's like, can, can, can Bob come do this job? Because no. I can't, you know, and, and, you know, there was a sign uh, showing all the different um, flag positions, you know, for the oh, guys that. Jesus, they had to memorize it. Yeah, yeah. With all the stuff, all the flag positions and things that you have to know. And you can't mess that shit up. No. <laughs> that's somebody's that's somebody's life yeah you a couple, couple you know people and more you know and so yeah like i said you know you had to have you had to have some brains to be able to do some, yeah. a lot of these jobs and stuff so it was cool and then after that we left there we left there yeah and we went to our normal <clears throat> place where we always have dinner yeah longhorn steakhouse and it was meh yeah unfortunately the first longhorn steakhouse we've gone to that we're just like Mm. Yeah. Could was, have been better. Yeah. Well, you know, my cut of meat just wasn't, it wasn't very yeah. good for some reason. And I ordered it. Okay. Usually when I order something like medium, it'll come out like medium well, <laughs> you know? So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to order this one medium rare right. and maybe it'll be medium. No. no, their cook actually got it right. Medium rare. <laughs> and it was a little too rare for me. So. Yeah. I didn't really get no. to eat, but by the time I got to that with our meal, you know, we always have, you know, the, the, the salad, which mm -hmm. is huge. I mean, yeah. their salad could be a meal. Yeah. You know, uh, we have the bread. Yeah. We have the appetizer. Yeah. You know, so, so by the time we got that, yeah. <laughs> it really wasn't that easy anyway. <clears throat> yeah, we took the steak home and it was great with eggs and stuff the next day. Yeah. Next couple of days, actually three days I took to eat my steak. I got a big really, yeah. 20 ounce. Yeah. It took me steak. three days to eat that damn steak. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it was it was nice, but not as good as we've been to the uh, Longhorn Steakhouse uh, in... Just about everywhere we've been. Everywhere we've been, yeah. I mean, the one up in New Hampshire was really good. Yeah, spot on every time. Very good. The one in Florida and Juno Beach was actually really good as well. Yeah. Yeah. And then what's the other one you usually go to when we're here? Is it Hutto? No, there's not one in Hutto. There's not one in Hutto. Uh, Round Rock? The one in Round Rock that we go to? Where does it go? Over by yes. the Red Lobster and yes. all that. Is that. That's the one we normally yeah. go to? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so that's that a good one. Really and good. then Cedar Park, I think we've been to that one too. Yeah. So, you know, they've all been very consistent. Yeah. You know, it just, it's, it's all good. You it know? just it wasn't hitting perfect. Yeah, it just for some reason. But, yeah. you know. Dessert was good. Dessert was really good. Chocolate <laughs> Stampede. Chocolate Ooh. Stampede, yeah. That too came home because we were full by that point. Yeah, there was some of it that came home too. So. Yeah, but it was nice. It was nice. Uh, nine, years. nine years. Nine years. I love you, babe. Love you too, honey. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> she doesn't do mushy, folks, just so you know. Sorry. And then she married me. <laughs> like a marshmallow. Yep, 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 yep. Crusty outside, <laughs> soft and squishy on the inside. It's like a lava cake. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, a I'm a lava cake. I'm like a chocolate lava cake. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. I don't know. We were sitting about, about an hour and five minutes here. Um, okay. <sighs> I mean, that's, I think, all we had to talk about right yeah, now. That's all uh, like we said, next one's going to be uh, 
We might just do a special just on the um, State, of, State Union. of the Union. Yeah, and, I tell you uh, the State of the Union. <laughs> man, it sucks. It's we need not good. We need some people with balls, man. But you know that he's going to say everything's great. He's he going to get up there and say, oh, I've done so well with this and that. And I was we left, have the greatest was, economy ever. I, I had to take over and was left with such a mess from the last one. Yeah, really? the, the former administration he's gonna left claim, me a mess. He's going to claim that he brought gas prices down, but you freaking drove them up, you <laughs> ass There is the reason they went up. You yeah. can't do that. You can't claim. I brought back 50 bazillion jobs. <sighs> No, you didn't. Those are <laughs> those are the jobs that were lost due to COVID and shutting the country down. You can't claim those as Inflation you. Inflation was already high when I took office. No, it was it at like one percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Anyway, you know, but he thinks he's doing so great. Oh my God, God bless him. But uh, I, don't know. I think they show him something different on the TV than what everybody else sees. And they give I him, think they tell him a lot of I think stuff. They, I think they just, you know. Joe, you're doing good. Here's your pudding. <laughs> Everything's great. There's a tapioca. <laughs> yeah. Who cares about everybody else? You still have three houses. Yeah. Yeah. Two in Delaware. When you, if, okay, if I was going to buy, if I had a house, and then I was going to buy another house, would I buy another house in the same freaking state? No. I'd want to buy a yeah, house somewhere your else. Your brother did. That's true. That's true. Your brother did. <laughs> My brother did. Well, he's a whole different story. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to be able to get to that house quick. Well, he he wanted, he, like, he wants to be down here fishing. So, well, of course, that's why he that's got why, this that's one. What he, yeah, so he could be down here. He's like, if I want to go fishing, I want to go fishing that day. Yeah, I don't go fishing in three days. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, I I get that. I but, get it. You know, get it. Uh, the Bidens aren't going fishing. <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> unless it's. Fishing for in a money. pond in China. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. anyway, there's that. Wow, I think we've gone on long enough. Remember, yeah. folks, uh, you can go to uh, patreoncom Stuart Perspective. Uh, Five dollars a month gets you uh, first access to the podcast, gets you exclusive patron act only access to videos and stuff. And I've got a tripping down the rabbit hole about Blaze Foley that's on there. I'm going to do another one soon about um, Towns Van Zant. And then follow that one probably by Jelly Roll, and then uh, one on the Grateful Dead and stuff, and a couple of storylines for each one of those from me. So that'll be a really cool thing if you want to jump in and watch that. And five dollars, you can have access to it. Otherwise, you're just going to see the trailer on my YouTube channel. Sorry, but uh, yeah, join there. Uh, uh, Patreon.com/slash Stuart Perspective. Uh, if you also want to support the show. You can uh, go to Podbean and just follow the podcast on Podbean. But subscribe and comment, even if you just use CFTA, comment for the algorithm, all right? Just put CFTA down. It just helps the algorithm push us up so we can get our um, get more people to see our podcast and look at it. And, uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, oh, what? Uh, if you want to just buy us a beer and we'll get a shout-out to you for buying us a beer, it is paypal.me slash rawcommunications. And if you want to support another way, um, reaperapparelco.com. Use promo code Uncle Mongrel, and you can get your big boy shirts there. 4X, no problem. They're good. Wow. Get your big boy shirts here. Get your big boy shirts here, because Wally Mart is not carrying them anymore. Yeah. Ass it's, hats. It's amazing. I, I was just there today, and I actually looked through. all the They have all these different, like, George brand. They have athletic brand. Uh, all kinds of stuff. And so I was going, I was looking through all these t-shirts and the biggest ones I could find were 3X. You cannot get anything. And, you know, so you can't really have a, you know, men's big and tall section and not have a 4X yeah. t-shirt. You know, what? there are big, there are some big guys out there, Walmart. Yeah. I mean, what's the deal? Uh, they've, they've uh, gotten rid of Fruit of the Loom t-shirts, which were the ones I love that I always bought. Most comfortable ones out there. Most comfortable. I loved them. They were cheap, you know, four dollars and something, I think, a piece. Yeah. Uh, they've gotten rid of those, and they've gone to these other brands, and wow. it is kind of, yeah. Thanks a lot, Walmart. Yeah. One more reason for me not to shop there. Yeah. yeah, a lot of these places they say they have like big and tall sections, and basically it's like three or four shirts and. Well, it's like Coles, two like X. That two X. That that's as big as you got. Yeah, Cole's big and tall is not any good. Same as their plus size ladies department. I'm like, I'm not 85 years old. 
give me some fashion. Give me yeah. something. Not, I mean, can't you take what you made over there for the size 10 and just add a little bit to it and make something cute <laughs> for a bigger, you know, why, why, you know, you go to any of these stores that have these men's big and tall and they suck. You got to go to these specialty stores where stuff is 10 times more than it should be. Yeah. Omar the tent maker. $50. Omar the tent maker. Yeah. <laughs> Well, DXL. You know. I, I love DXL. Yes, they I have love some a lot nice of clothes. clothes. But the freaking t shirts are yeah. forty freaking dollars. Yeah, for a t shirt. Wait Come a minute. On, because I'm a bigger person, I make more money? No, that's <laughs> not how that shit <laughs> that's works. Not, that's not. You know, but everything there is out of this world expensive. It's it's crazy. So I don't understand it, but it's the way it is. Yeah. Yeah. Just gonna go to ordering everything online. Yeah. Just about. We order about 60 percent online right now anyway. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> All right, folks. <gasps> we'll see you next episode. And as always, love, peace, and bacon grease, y'all. Mmm, mm, bacon. bacon. <laughs> All right. Come on, Chrissy. Get up there. Yeah.